Hello there, Abigail. Okay, so if your exam is on the eighth, I'll try. I'll be um, a little bit more attentive to your work, the one, that, the the stuff you send me. And here's my WhatsApp. So just send me a heads up once you um, once you've completed your work. And it's grab a pen. It's zero zero three four six seven zero eight zero six zero five one. Okay, and when you send your work, just send me a message, and then I'll be more on the ball. So let's see. Some people put, okay, you said before it was a difficult subject. That's fantastic, because if you get difficult subjects with me, um, you'll be better prepared for the exam, rather than getting better, uh, difficult subjects come exam day. So some people believe that employees should stay in the same job for the rest of their life. Others think that they should switch jobs at least once during their career. To what extent do you agree? Okay, I totally agree they should uh, be switching jobs all their career. Paragraph one, they should switch jobs all their career because more experience. Example, recent study by Harvard. Paragraph two, um, let's see, uh, they should switch jobs to learn more cultures. Recent study, okay, um, that's what how I, how I would have done it. However, I mean, Looking at both sides is fine as well. So let's see. Traditionally, choosing to remain with one job for the entirety of a person's career was considered a sign of longevity and lo loyalty. However, this is no longer the norm these days. Fantastic. Fully agree that switching jobs is a much wiser move than staying in the same job. This essay will analyze the issue. Use examples from Harvard University and the US to demonstrate points and support arguments. Genius. Well done. Firstly, working for a single company until retirement is not always a good thing. This is because without any promotion, job holders often become complacent with their career and end up with minimal wages. Good. For instance, a recent study from Harvard University showed that employees who worked and stayed the longest within an organization appeared to be less productive and take home about 20% below the average salary rate. Therefore, it is clearly evident why people should not remain as a single employer for too long. Very, very good. Very good. Um, Okay, could, what could we say instead of too long? Pause the video and just try and think of something more specific. So we could say for their working life, for the duration of this, for the duration of their um, employment. Can you see? But the rest of this paragraph was fantastic. And also, um, here's one thing for improvement. So when you finish your essay, you can look for words like good bad and be and do and have and these words can often be replaced by something more specific it's not always a good thing okay now uh, what could we say something can, sounds a little bit more sophisticated it's not always um, an optimum choice it's not always a recommended uh, career path there we go you see um, but that's just for improvement this paragraph is really good and I got the idea straight away, so that's fantastic. Secondly, applying for another work, another work, no, applying, applying for another job, maybe, okay, um, apply, applying for other work, okay, seems to be reasonably acceptable nowadays. This is due to the fact that changing jobs provides, okay, changing jobs is a, is a subject and it's singular provides people the opportunity to earn a living and to master new skills. Good. In the US, for example, four out of five professionals have two or more occupations throughout their career, allowing them to gain considerably um, considerably greater salaries, considerably higher pay packets and experience in comparison to staying in one post. Thus, shifting jobs can actually be beneficial and perhaps should be recommended. Okay, just to add a little bit more in there, but can you see, um, I'm just going through and I'm looking for opportunities now to make the essay sound a little bit more sophisticated and use lexical resource. To conclude, it is agreed that people who are looking for another job tend to experience financial and career growth, tend to experience more financial and career growth than those who do not. It is rec um. It is believed this trend will continue into the future um, as worker mobility 
is set to increase. Okay, just put in a sentence there with it is predicted. That's a new tense we haven't used and um, it will help with your grammatical range and accuracy. So if you want, try and incorporate that into, the into your conclusion for the next one. 253, you've nailed it. Well done. Good work there. Bachat depicts the rate of bird flu fatalities worldwide from 1990 to 2000. In 1990, the World Health Organization recorded around 123,000 bird flu cases all over the globe. Good. This figure slightly rose by 2,000 cases in 1991, and it continued to increase significantly to 135,000 in 1992. Okay. Um, very good. Very good. In the subsequent year, the bird flu rate remained unaltered and then began a steady climb. Okay, sorry. And then a steady climb was observed over the next four years, between 1994 and 1997. So two things I'm very pleased about this. One, you've started at the logical point, which is the beginning of the graph, the chronological start. Fantastic. You'd be surprised how many students would start in the middle and then jump around. Second thing is... I was worried we were going to go into list mode, as in, like, mention every single day, a, date, but you didn't. You managed to group them together, so that's fantastic. And you've also used different structures. It rose by X, fell by, then reached, or I was around, so that's fantastic. Very good work. There were about 145 and 155 uh, fatalities of bird flu globally in 94 and 95 respectively. Good. Um, I just shortened that for convenience for reading, but it was perfect. It grew by 10,000 cases in the following year before peaking at 175 in 97. After that, the trend remained unchanged in 1998. By 1999, bird flu casualties dropped minimally by approximately 2,000 cases. Okay, while well, the rate recovered at 175 at the end of the period. Overall, it can be clearly seen that there was a predictable upward pattern in the bird flu fatalities around the world throughout the 10-year period. Wow, very impressed. Massive improvement there, and there's hardly any, any mistakes at all. Just flew through it, that's great. Um, the limit's 150, you're on the borderline there, but don't worry about it. Um, you're just in. The limit is 10%, plus or minus, either way. So it's fantastic. Um, and you didn't jump over anything. You, we've got a good idea of the graph. So well done there, Abigail. Uh, so now you know what to do. Implement the corrections. Modify the error list. Then just feel free to send me a message on WhatsApp once you've done the work. That'll be a good reminder for me. And I'll try and get, we'll try and work through this pack um, as soon as possible just so you're ready for the exam, okay? All the best.